In addition to the previously mentioned controls, we can use security guards and dogs. Security dogs, of course. These can be a very effective physical access control. Both of these, individually and even better together, can be great deterrents. Not only deterrents, but also detective controls. They can figure out when someone's trying to break in and then do something about it. The advantages are that security guards especially can adapt to a changing environment. They possess the ability to reason and to solve problems. They're not quite so static and stoic that they only have a certain set of rules and cannot deviate. Being humans, they can make decisions and act on those decisions. The disadvantage, unfortunately, is that they are subject to fatigue. This is for security guards as well as the dogs. Eventually, they've got to take time off. They also have to eat, and they also have to step to the restroom from time to time. So there are disadvantages, and security guards especially do require recurrent training. They have to be kept up to speed, up to date, and every time you implement a new control of a technical nature or of any nature, the security guards need to be aware of how to use it, how to interface if necessary, and how to incorporate it into their doing their own job.